So don't forget to flip that safety off. And it is a two-stage trigger, so you can prep it. Nice. Good hit. I'm going to apply them really only 12 inch barrel. everybody this is XL tactical and thank you guys for joining me on this video yes it's that time to do this video again it's our 2024 uh, gun collection video this is gonna be a long one so please uh, bear with us try to stay through all the way to the end if you are finding me for the first time please consider subscribing it's the best way you can help this channel but before we get into it let's start off this with a bang right uh, we will talk about this one. We're going to show it as we go through the gun collection video. But I want to talk about this guy right here. Uh, remember, I told you guys that I'm going to start doing some giveaways. This is part of it. Uh, why not do it on this video? This is our Fiat uh, Red Dot and Magnifier combo. Uh, I think I should have released a video on this already by the time this video released. But we are going to be giving this away. Uh, how are you going to be getting it? Just get down in the comments, make sure you put your uh, a comment down there, make sure you like this video. Um, and as soon as we get a couple of uh, thousand views on this video, which I'm sure you guys are going to get it to there, we're going to pick up a random winner from there and we'll announce it. Today it is uh, April 4th, so we'll be announcing it for May the 4th. Uh, May the 4th be with you. That's when we'll be doing the announcement. We'll do it live here and we'll just... Uh, pick a winner we are also going to do a double winner for that one so we are going to be doing this guy uh i am bringing another product that's on the channel for this of a tattoo um prism optic uh nice little optic uh, i've had it for quite a while i'm going to be giving this away uh i may have the box may not have the box i'm not 100 percent sure but um, it's an optic that I can send out to somebody. Uh, remember, the only thing that I ask is that for people that are going to go for this, you have to be living in the United States. I'm not sending this across the world, but uh, good luck to you guys. Let's jump right into it. I do have a special review that I'm going to be doing pretty quick. Uh, it might be one of those that's a little bit hard to film, but we're going to be reviewing this guy pretty soon. Uh, who knows? Oh, hey! Maybe it's a, it's a good EDC carry. Uh, probably a level 10, but not 100% sure. Make sure you get down in the comments. Let me know if you have something like this already. But we're probably going to get into it. Stop it. Get some help. All right, guys. All kidding aside, this is a novelty item. Uh, but I saw this one time and I said, I have to add this to the collection. It's a hollowed out um, old school grenade. But people always look at it and it's like, is that a real thing? It's like, of course it's real. Why wouldn't I have something like this? Uh, first off, we have here our P365X. Uh, not an X macro, not an XL. This is my X. Our red dot, TLR, TLR7 sub on it, chambered in 9mm. Quite beautiful gun, uh, six hour. Uh, really knocked it out of the park with this particular firearm. You guys have seen this one um, in the channel for quite some time. I put in a couple of videos on it and some people have been looking for this and have been very impressed by this. This is the PSA Micro Jack Dagger. Uh, chambered in nine mil as well. Uh, comes with a, a round capacity of 15 rounds, but uh, it is based off of the Glock 43X. Um, that's an awesome little gun. And why do I say that? Because this is probably one of my most viewed videos on the channel. This is the Glock 43X. This is not the MOS version. I bought this a while ago. I did have some work to it. I have an optic on there. I had it milled and all that stuff. I uh, love this firearm. Carry it quite a bit. And it's just an awesome, awesome everyday carry. Uh, has probably become one of the more popular selling firearms in all of the United States. When we talk about the Glock 43X, yeah, uh, probably one of the things that every gun collection should have should be some kind of Glock 19 or a variant. Um, I did have a couple of Glock 19s. I've since not uh, had those firearms anymore, but 
some is still coming um, later down the road but I do have my PSA uh, dagger this is our uh, PSA's version of the Glock 19 this one's a little bit different because it has a 17 uh, grip with a 19 slide so kind of like a 19x but uh, this is my my dagger this one's uh, with a threaded barrel it's got a light and some optics we're not going to get into too much of the optics because this video would be super long but um i have two of those guys right i actually have two different variations of the dagger uh this one is not a threaded barrel still has a light still has an optic um i just think it's such a great 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 firearm not only to train with uh ergonomics a lot of folks that i take out to the range really like that particular firearm this is another Glock 43X, but this one is actually started off its journey as a Glock 48. I didn't quite like the way I carried the 48. It is a longer slide, so I ended up getting a different uh, slide on it. This is an AIM surplus slide. You guys see I have it with a little bit of window cuts, uh, nice uh, barrel in here, different color, and we've done a little bit of project onto that one, but this is also another Glock 43X per se. This right here, is a PSA uh, micro dagger. This one in particular, uh, the first one I showed you has kind of stayed stock for the most part. This one does have a couple of things. It does have a threaded barrel, has an optic, has some other little goodies that have been onto it. I've really taken to the liking of that PSA micro dagger. I know some of you have found some issues with it, whether they are hitting or missing. For me, I have four different variations of it. Uh, and for me, they're actually working quite well. So as you guys can see here, I have dual wielding uh, PSA micro daggers. This is the C1. This is the one that's the same uh, barrel length, but the slide is a little bit longer. Kind of the size of a Glock 48, but this one is comped. So helps with a lot of the recoil uh, mitigation. It, it, these are both optic readies. Optics on here are from Siley. Again, not going to talk about that too much, but we want to thank... Sally for always supporting this channel and sending out a product like this for us to review and bring content. But these guys are quite, quite fun to shoot. Right here we have two uh, pistols chambered and 22 long rifles. On my left here we have the TX-22. Quite beautiful handgun. We've done a little bit of uh, rattle can work to this. Uh, 16 rounds of 22 long rifle. And then on my right here we have the FN... 502 is also chambered in 22 long rifle quite awesome firearm so i know what you're asking why 22 long rifle why would you even have something like that well to each his own uh, i have them because i like shooting and i like to get out to range and shoot different calibers uh so as we move forward i'm going to show you three uh different firearms um chambered in a couple of different calibers but the reason why i have them is because these are some of the ones that are probably the smallest that can be concealed while still being very reliable and being fun to shoot. First off, uh, still another nine millimeter. This is the Ruger Max 9. Uh, we do have an optic made by Ruger on here. Uh, very nice firearm, still kind of goes into that micro uh, category, but very small to conceal. You can probably put this in a pocket holster or a little uh, type of holster, but it's very small, very small footprint while still holding a good amount of round count uh, for you to carry. Then we have its little brother, which is the Ruger LCP. This is chambered in 380. This is what I would call my mailbox gun. Every Anytime I might need to go out to the mailbox or I need to put this in my gym shorts, going out to the grocery store, a uh, small little package that I can take um, and not really feel like I'm leaving the house unprotected. And lastly, uh, another small firearm that can uh, conceal quite well. This is our Smith & Wesson uh, revolver. This is chambered in uh, 38 Special, uh, five rounds, hammerless uh, pistol here. Quite little stout round, but very easy to conceal. Again, could go in a holster like this. Uh, 1911s have grown on me quite some bit, especially with the whole 2011 market. I did want to get into it on a budget level, so that's what brought this guy into it. So we've done a little bit to it. Probably going to remove that. I had you know just fiddling with some of this but this is our rock island uh double stack chambered in nine mil um based off of like a 2011 ish it is all metal design but it's not uh a modular 
uh, grip design. So it doesn't make it a 2011. It's actually a 1911 with a double stack uh, that can fit nine millimeter. But, but quite budget, um, very fun, very affordable, and uh, you know mimics that 2011 look. But you know brought me to one of my most fun, fun, fun guns to shoot. You guys have seen this on the channel. This is our Springfield Prodigy four and a quarter. Uh, this is a modular design. It is not a 2011 per se. That is a, a trademark by Staccato, but this guy right here, super, super, super fun to shoot. Uh, very easy, uh, low recoil, uh, accurate as all hell. Uh, last one for the pistols, and this is just going to get us before we get into some of the other firearms, is this guy. This is the newest addition to the family. Uh, I did have something similar to this before, but uh, we let it go. We did want to bring it back. So this is our Sig Sauer P320. Uh, what's different about this one? This is our AXG model. So it has uh, a metal grip, quite uh, heavy in, in hand, but very still small and compact to carry. Uh, holds 15 rounds. No, I'm sorry. Holds 17 rounds. We did add here an EOTech E-Flex uh, optic to it. We will be reviewing that and bringing more content about that uh, to the channel. We are still in the early stages of this. I do want to put a gas pedal on this. want to make a couple of changes to it um, and see if I can find some grips on it. If you guys know about something like this, let me know in the comment section below. But that is our P320. As we move on into some of the really cool stuff, uh, let's talk about these guys. These have been new and added to the channel. Uh, what are we talking about? It's our secret. Uh, NFA items, right? We have talked about cans. We brought some cans to the channel and starting to bring a little bit extra content to you. Let's get it off started with a bang, right? So we talked about some of that NFA product in here. Uh, we got a can on this. What is this? This is our uh, PTR MP5. This is quite, quite an awesome, awesome firearm. Uh, paired up with this can, you get to shoot. <sighs> not have to worry about that hearing protection have some of that slap action in there a gun collection without an mp5 is not a gun collection this guy with all the different tax stamps and all that that are being approved in record 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 time if you guys haven't seen uh how fast they're getting approved go up there it'll take you to a video on what's the new norm for the atf we brought this guy uh uh this is my ruger uh 1022 We've done some things to it. This is considered an SBR. It has a brace. We do have a can on it shooting. Uh, 22 long rifle suppressed. It's basically uh, gun farts. It's super, super affordable. Quite nice. And if you have subsonic rounds, uh, it's stupidly, stupidly hilarious when you shoot this out down at the rate. And lastly, adding something onto that whole suppressor game is this one. This is our PSA Palmetto State Saber lineup. This is a super small package, right? Another SBR that we did bring to the channel. Uh, as you guys can see, this one does have a stock. It does have that can uh, on there and super small package for CQB. Uh, still a little bit loud, not hearing safe, but uh, very small, very small and compact. Uh, a little bit on the higher end uh, while still not breaking the bank. This is our PSA uh, Saber lineup for uh, a 5.56. So now as we're getting into the fun stuff here, we bring this guy back up into the video. This is our Strybog, our Grand Power, Grand Power Strybog chambered in 9 mil. Excellent truck gun, a uh, home defense gun, backpack gun, small, compact, very small and discreet. Uh, quite nice. I do have it paired up, like I said, with this Fiat uh, magnifier combo, which we'll be giving away. Uh, get down in the comments. Let me know that you want to win this. Uh, and we're going to be giving this away along with that other prism. Uh, but yeah, quite a uh, nice firearm, home defense, uh, very small, easy to conceal, and very affordable still. Um, so we move on to a little bit more of our PCC, still home defense gun. This right here, you guys know that I'm very, very fond of PSA. This is our little micro mongoose. Uh, yeah, we named it that because we wanted to do some kind of honey badger uh, type style gun. So we did get our Honey Badger uh, lower, and we paired it up with this 9 uh, mil upper. Uh, small, super sleek, super compact. Uh, kept it minimalistic. We just have a red dot on there, but super small, super fun. 
Uh, you can keep this in a backpack, have it at home, and protect your home quite well. This is our little micro uh, mongoose. Uh, you know, I've been reading it. I'm looking into the future. I know you guys are talking about. You're talking about home defense, and you're not talking about shotguns. Well, I, I do have this guy. We do have a couple other shotguns that we've had on the channel. Uh, we no longer have them, but I do have this one. I've kept this one. Uh, I've enjoyed this one quite a bit. It is a pack full of punch right here. Uh, not the best for home defense in the sense of recoil mitigation. Uh, this one does kick a little bit, but this is our kel -Tec KS uh, 7, uh, 12 gauge. But what I like about it, it's got that bullpup design, um, holds a decent amount. I actually use the little mini slugs that I can put in here and can carry a lot more. Uh, but it's a, a home defense shotgun. I love having this small, sleek, compact. And then the last guy that I kind of talk about for my home defense is this guy. Um, if you guys have seen the video on this, you know that I really love this firearm. I've had two of these actually in my collection. Had to bring this one back. This is our PSA AKV chambered in 9mm. Um, what I really enjoy about this is it's super fun to shoot. Small, uh, sleek, um, great magazine, great capacity. Uh, I've got it paired up quite nice beautiful optic on here and I just love that overall banana look style on this uh, awesome firearm to have <sighs> PSA AKV knocks it out of the park all the time uh, I'm almost thinking about how I can get another one just a different variation of it I know the PSA crank is the new 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 thing but you're gonna have to stay tuned I do have something similar to it what is it if you've stayed so far, looking at this video, one, I appreciate it. Make sure you're smashing that like button if you're liking this particular video. We have some of these ones that are a little bit different, a um, little bit of oddballs, but I got them back here. Let's talk about them. Let me show you what I got, all right? So first off, back here, above my workbench, we got this guy right here. Um, this is our modern cowboy. We still haven't finished with this guy quite yet. Uh, but this is chambered in 357 and 38 Special. So fantastic lever action firearm. Super nice, super affordable. Well, I don't want to say super affordable, but very nice to get into that lever action um, platform. Uh, again, this one we have it paired up with one of our great supporters here, uh, Sealy. This is the Bull Pro. We have this. We've been reviewing it. Make sure you're... You're uh, following these guys because they're making really fun stuff to for us, the shooters, to be able to get out there and shoot and train. We've been looking for the crank. It is available. Still trying to get past the, some of the kinks that it's been having. Some people say it's a hit. This is our PSA uh, AK-47 chambered in 5.56. So it is our AK-47 uh, variant. It is a rifle. Um, we do have that triangle sock on it, um, but this guy right here, we're, you're going to have to stay tuned. We're going to do some updates to it, upgrades for it, and we will make our version of the PSA crank. All right, folks, so we are on the home stretch. Uh, we got three uh, firearms that we have to talk about that are left, but it's probably some of the better ones that, that we left for the end. Uh, again, if you stayed this far, you should have already subscribed because... You know, I don't know why you would stay this far without not liking some of this content. Uh, but this guy right here, right? This is our big boy, our bad boy. What is this? Still haven't released a video on this. Um, been a little bit busy, but we are going to get this out to the channel. This is our PSA uh, Sabre chambered in 308. Wow. Hate it, love it. Say what you say, say what you want to say about PSA. PSA is bringing products that us, the shooters, want to have, uh, enjoy it, quite nice, and still uh, be able to afford our mortgage and our cars. This guy right here from the Sabre lineup, it is fun. Uh, can't wait to get out to the range and bring you more content with this particular rifle. Uh, we're going to be doing out some longer shooting uh we're gonna be trying to run this i've seen some videos on how this performs and how it runs and i'm quite impressed so i can't wait to get out to the range it is going to be a little bit on the pricier side to shoot 
but it doesn't matter. Uh, right before we wrap up, this is one of my favorite firearms that I've had for quite some time. Uh, this is all PSA. I uh, when you when I say piece together, I didn't just order a top and a bottom. I actually bought different uh, components and kind of put it together. So this is my project, not my build. Uh, but we got an upgraded trigger on here. We got some ambi controls. We got a light, uh, pretty uh, light uh, configuration. It is a pistol, so we have that uh, brace on there. Uh, very nice, easy to shoot. Uh, this is what we had before as our truck gun slash home defense gun, but we went a little bit smaller with that that uh, other um, honey badger. I'm sorry, with our micro mongoose that we went to, but leaves me to my last one and um, probably one of my favorite ones that has come to the collection and that is this guy right here so this is actually our honey badger right uh, we made it our own uh, so this is honey badger on on a budget I do want to say I kept it in as budget as I possibly can there's still some things on here you guys you guys have not seen but this was another lower. This is for uh, AR-15 lower. It is the Honey Badger Brace uh, PDW, which is awesome. We kept a small profile, eight and a half inches there. So we kept it small. So you're able to uh, suppress this. That is one thing that we are missing from this guy. There is a suppressor that is in route um, towards us. We're getting an arrow precision Lahar that's gonna be dedicated for this one. Um, like we talked about that other optic that we are giving away. It's made by this brand. This is the Vutatu. Uh, this is a green laser, um, green night laser, blah, 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 light, all kinds of whatever it is. All I know is it's very fun. This is my home defense now. This is a light option, very small, very compact. Once I put a can on it, it's going to probably stick out just as much as this little flash can is going on. But uh, super, super, super sleek, super compact. Something that I did want to have, uh, wanted to make sure this is in my home defense collection. We have a prism on there, so um, for my bad, my bad eyesight, I get to get out there for longer ranges. I got a little optic, a little red dot that's uh, offset there, so I can still get uh, CQB acquisition on there, and I have all the other goodies that I that I need. Now you might say it's got too much, but I say it's just got the right enough. That is it, guys. That wraps it up. Uh, which was your favorite? Uh, which are some of the options that you guys want to see me bring continue to this channel? Let me know down in the comment section. Um, I know you guys say, well, why do you make these uh, collection videos? Uh, do you really want to tell people what we have? Listen, folks. Um, I do this because I like to do it. Um, I'm not married to any of these firearms. I like them. Um, as I go through this 2 a journey, sometimes I'll trade them in, sell them, so on and so forth. Uh, always looking for something new to shoot, something fun to shoot, something that I can go out there and train and still be uh, having fun not only with myself but with uh, family and friends. Uh, that does it for me. That is our 2024 collection. It was a long video. If you stayed this long, thank you guys very much. Um, we have a lot of content to bring to you. We have a lot of new stuff that you haven't seen on the channel and some of the other stuff that you have. If you've already subscribed, thank you guys. If you haven't, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to get out of here, go out to the range, spend some money, shoot some lead. But until next time, stay safe, go out to the range, and I'll see you guys on the next one.